Well, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Holly with the Nestle Valley Farmhouse and today I'm going to be doing a little fall autumn home reset. Um, basically come along with me as I kind of deep clean my house a little bit, get ready for kind of our busy fall season and just kind of talk about how fall is for us, things that I've been doing to try to, because we're still in harvest season, things are starting to slowly get out of harvest season and for us our octobers are pretty busy we um we have birthdays and i have one one kiddo in cheer so she'll be cheering through october and just we got a lot going on and then as you know pretty much after halloween and stuff it's like christmas thanks or thanksgiving christmas all the things so right now I am just doing kind of my normal dishes and so my goal today is I'm going to be trying to kind of deep clean my main level of my house so we have had a very busy summer and then I'm not gonna lie going back to school for the kids was a little bumpy um, we I think everything's kind of smoothed out everyone's kind of gotten used to their new teachers and all that stuff so I'm feeling a little bit better feeling more able to kind of get back into that routine and so I'm a little late on decorating for fall this year, but I wanted to um, obviously do that because fall is my absolute favorite season. I absolutely love it. I um, My birthday's in fall, so maybe that's part of the reason why I love it so much. But I find myself like this year just kind of already feeling a bit overwhelmed by everything. So I've kind of taken my time a little bit. And like I said, I haven't been able to get into my routine until right about now. So I'm looking forward to all the things that we'll be doing. Um, it's just but it's also just a busy time so my birthday is the end of october i have a kiddo with an october birthday and then we always do like a couple fall things one of our big things that we do is we do the pumpkin patch and we started doing it kind of like early october because um it normally uh most pa pumpkin patches around here open up around the first weekend in october and so we actually usually also go up to my husband's family in Canada for Thanksgiving, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to make it this year because of just, I think it was just one thing that we could take off the table with so much that we have going on. And we have a few new things coming up that I am going to talk to you about, but I haven't, I'm not quite ready to, <laughs> to let you guys know yet. We're just some exciting things in our family, some changes that we'll be making. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting off with cleaning my laundry room. So this room kind of becomes our catch all. Let's be honest. Um, basically I've been canning. So I've had my canner down and I've actually brought it up. Um, I keep putting it up and down, but I try to keep things kind of picked up off the counter, but we have done a lot of trips. I went on a girl's trip a couple weeks ago, which was really fun. Um, but I'll be honest, like I had a good time, but I kind of missed my kids. Like I, I don't. I don't know. I think the thing is, I love the idea of like getting away with a bunch of girlfriends, but it's also hard because we're all so busy that most of the people that went on the girls trip were basically family, which is fun, but it's just not quite the same energy, I guess, as you would get if you went with a bunch of friends. They're all kind of the same stage of life as you, kind of the same, all that stuff. So it was fun, but I just feel like next year, I'm not sure if, we'll, if it'll be an annual thing anymore. So basically my goal today is to get this room cleaned up and reorganized. One of my biggest issues with this room is that because it's kind of like when you walk into our front door, it's like the first room there, it tends to just kind of get stuff thrown in it. Um, as you can see, there were motorcycle helmets and my daughter's knitting yarn for some odd reason is in here. And so it's just, um, I try to maintain this room, but it sometimes gets really hard. And like I said, we've been really busy. So what I normally do is I just kind of go through everything and um, put it like where it goes. I like to, you can't see it in the video, but I like to get like a laundry basket and kind of one of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years is I have a laundry basket that I will get and I will um, put the things that don't belong in that room or whatever in the laundry basket and then kind of moves it around and moves around with me and I put things away as I'm like cleaning up. So that's really helpful. So I use that and then it just makes things easier. So I'm just sweeping up the floor. This floor gets kind of crazy because we have the cat food in here and I have a stinker of a cat who likes to dump over the cat food. And so I'm wiping off the top of the washing machines. This is kind of one of my, I do kind of fall cleaning and spring cleaning and wiping off the top of the machines. It's kind of something I do every six months. So kind of what I'm doing today is kind of my fall cleaning. I'm trying to get the house and like kind of doing more deep clean in some areas. 
A few things that I forgot to film are I clean the light fixtures generally, like the ones in my kitchen, and just like a few things that you don't always get to every week, month, or whatever. I probably need to start doing a few more things, and I'm hoping as kind of our schedules get more consistent, because right now with just school stuff, and my parents are still here, though they're gonna be going um, back to where I grew up to visit family and stuff in a little bit. I think it's just been hard for me to like stay on task. So here's it all cleaned up. It looks so nice and I'm so excited. So I'm just now getting to making my bed. Um, I normally learned that apparently back in the day, the reason why you would like leave your bed unmade for like an hour or so in the morning is to apparently cool it off. And supposedly old wives tell it's supposed to prevent bed bugs. Not that I have to worry about bed bugs, but I just thought that that was kind of an interesting little tidbit. So I've started kind of airing out my bed instead of like making it as soon as I wake up. And so I kind of feel like it kind of helps. I don't know. I guess I just feel like it helps a little bit. So, um, yep, just kind of getting everything all tidied up in here. So it's also Tuesday. So I'm trying to do kind of my quote unquote Tuesday chores, which is normally the master bedroom and the downstairs bathrooms. Like I've said in the past, and I might do another video on it, I really br like to break down kind of my quote unquote homemaking tasks. My goal is, I mean, today it was definitely more cleaning, but my goal is like on a regular week, I only want to be spending like an hour or so cleaning because I have a lot to do, chasing around toddlers. I have, you know, kids to get up and get on the bus. And then honestly, I want a little downtime myself. And I think that all of us stay at home moms, homemakers deserve to have breaks during the day too. Like, I don't feel like you should be cleaning all day unless that's what you like to do. So I feel like if I break it down into little chunks, it really helps. So I'm doing some quick stuff. I spilled, I accidentally dropped and spilled something in there. So I'm actually mopping today. I don't normally mop every single week. I probably should. It's another thing that's on the list, right? <laughs> So I'm finally taking down all my summer decorations and I put them in a tote. I kind of have, I try to keep it to like one tote per season just to kind of keep things a little bit um, organized. I do, I am kind of looking because I have a bunch of Christmas stuff, but I'm actually looking at kind of redoing some of my Christmas stuff because last year when I had it all out, I didn't really love it. So I think I'm actually gonna go through and I actually went through some of my fall stuff last year and just got rid of anything that I don't, like absolutely love <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but i'm also trying not to like rebuy everything too so one thing that i've started doing is i i I, I wouldn't say that I'm simplifying, but basically the main decoration points I have in my house are basically this mantle area with kind of these two bookends, our bookcases, and I really feel like, or the four square divider things. And I really feel like I kind of like the focal point in the living room. And then I've started putting like just some leaf garland around my cabinets and, if, and on top of my hutch. And I feel like it just gives the whole room a nice fall vibe. I do, as much as I would love to have my whole house completely decked out every season it's just not financially feasible and i used to go to dollar tree a lot and find the cutest stuff but if i'm being honest lately i just haven't really either it's like super picked over whenever i'm ready to go there and buy it or i just don't really like none of it's really speaking to me so to speak and i guess it's also another way to try to like not spend a ton of money each season because like i said we had a really busy summer which of course equates to spending more money than we intended because we went on more trips had a few more things come up so i just am trying to kind of really rein in some of that spending i want like a touch of fall everywhere but it's not i wouldn't say it's minimalist i feel like that's one thing that people um like it's really popular nowadays and i'm not against it by any means though i am definitely not a minimalist because i feel like um i don't know i just don't feel like i'm a minimalist <laughs> i kind of feel like it's it's a good idea but a lot of people i know that have like done like the whole minimalism thing they generally end up just like rebuying everything again and and of course you never know the problem is i feel like once i get rid of stuff then then i then i need it of course like right after so <laughs> So this area of my island gets dirty all the time and I have a really hard time, you know, just keeping it clean. So I'm actually going to be going through all these magazines and stuff and kind of cleaning it a little bit more, but just kind of showing you finally getting it all organized. So of course, sweeping the floor is something I do every week. I'm just kind of trying to do a little bit of everything, also adding in some more deep cleaning. And so, um, yeah, so basically just kind of finishing up the um, sweeping and then I think I just have the dining room area left to kind of get the downstairs, in my opinion, reset for the fall. Now, obviously I'm gonna be doing like dusting and all that stuff, 
but I feel like I tried to do a little bit more cleaning, a little bit heavier dusting. Um, I used like a wet washcloth to dust this time to really get the dirt and stuff off because, you know, we're out in the country and I did not realize that I should have not bought white stuff because I feel like it's just it gets dingy looking so quickly because you know we've had dogs we've had kids and there's just there's just a lot of dirt <laughs> so this is it all cleaned up and it looks so nice and of course the kids are still running around so of course it's not 100% perfect but I felt really good about getting stuff done today because I feel like I haven't been able to really get to this since like since the summer since school it's just been kind of maintaining so I'm really excited to kind of have everything tidied up and kind of ready for fall season so so I have a new candle warmer so I put on some nice scents this is just some lavender that smelled really good while I was decorating and then I just kind of pulled out all my decorations like I said I have that one orange tote you saw earlier and it just that's what I use so I had a few sunflowers that I decided to cut a couple and bring them into the house. Oh yes, and I'm just gonna do a quick load of laundry because I gotta stay on top of everything. So this didn't take me very long and it's something that I like to like throw a, um, whatchamacallit, throw a podcast in or whatever while I'm doing laundry. It just really helps kind of keep things organized. So I put some sunflowers in my cute little sunflower vase and then I am um, basically just finished decorating, added all the leaf accents. I turned on our fireplace for a little ambiance because it was fun. So, so basically that is the um, kind of what I've done and how I've kind of gotten things reset and ready for the fall season. Like I said, I probably won't get to a lot of this stuff until about, I don't know, probably Christmas time when I'm cleaning for Christmas. So taking a little break and enjoying myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time coming along with me. I hope you had a great time. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.